Uh, how about the Vikings? I did not see this one coming. Dude, the win over the Giants is like, okay, they beat the Giants. Then they beat the Niners, and it was like, yeah, it was a you know, fluky win, maybe. Sam Darnold revenge game. This I did not see coming. Sam Darnold is officially on MVP watch. And and I say that there's about 20 quarterbacks in the league right now that are on MVP watch. I mean, it's so early. It's super early. So, yeah, he does. But, but four touchdowns, 189 yards, and a 31 to seven thrashing of Houston. I think it might start to be time to believe in Minnesota. This is a playoff team. And I didn't think they were a playoff team early in the season. Right now, they're a playoff team, man. This is a good football team. I don't know. Could they win that division? They have, they, uh, so Detroit and Green Bay are both 2-1. The Vikings are 3-0. and oh. I think I would still take Detroit to win that division. I think the Lions will beat the Vikings when they play. But, man, the Vikings look good. They look physical. Their defense is taking the ball away. Remember, remember, C.J. Stroud does not throw interceptions. He threw two of them against the Vikings. Last year, he set, I think he set the rookie record for the, the best uh, touchdown-to-interception ratio. He is not a guy that likes to throw picks, and the Vikings took the ball away from him twice. They're running the ball well. Aaron Jones, when healthy, has always been a top 10 back in this league. And I was worried about him. I thought, you know, he's, he's older, um, and I wasn't sure what to expect from him. He looks great. He looks like a great compliment for that offense. Justin Jefferson's doing his thing. Uh, Jalen Naylor looking pretty good. Um, they, remember, guys, they still aren't at full strength offensively either. Because TJ Hawkinson hasn't played yet this year. You throw in a top five tight end onto that offense that's already on a roll. I mean, they're on a roll. Um, Kevin O'Connell, great coach. And Brian Flores, again, is really proving. For what it's worth, Brian Flores was not a good head coach in Miami. But I always thought he could run a defense well. Because he had that Miami defense rolling when, they, when he was with Miami. He was good with New England's defense. and. I don't think he should be a head coach because he's, he clearly had his issues. He got, in, he got in a lot of arguments with Tua, and I know he sued the league about a racism charge, but I think the big problem with him was that he was a bad leader because he was fighting with Tua, right? So I don't know if he should ever be a head coach again, but as a defensive coordinator, he's great. He's great. Um, he understands how to run that defense so well, and the Vikings, for a team that I picked to finish last in the division— I now think, I mean, they're clearly better than the Bears. And I think they, they, they could challenge Green Bay and Detroit. I'm not ready to go there yet and say they win the division. It kind of has a 2018 feel to it, though, doesn't it? Remember the Case Keenum year when the Vikings just kind of came out of nowhere with Case Keenum at quarterback? Minnesota does this. Every few years, you get a, a crazy good season out of the Minnesota Vikings. And it always kind of feels like out of nowhere because... They're always a little bit underrated going into the season. They're always a little bit, you know, they're not the they're not flashy like Green Bay. They're not they're not uh, an up and coming team like Detroit. They're just there. They're just existing and they're playing really good football. How about the Vikings and the Texans? The Texans were my Super Bowl pick early in the season. I think right now I have to say they haven't shown me yet that they can be a Super Bowl winning team. Now it's very early. But right now, I think I would I would move if I was a betting man. I think I would move my money away from the Texans, and probably put it on Kansas City, because so far I have not seen it yet from Houston. They're they're not they're not doing it for me. I thought they could win the Super Bowl. I was very excited about the Texans. They're still two and one. I I still feel good about them winning that division. I still feel good about them getting a top two or three seed. In the AFC, but uh, we'll see. We'll see about Houston. I don't know. I was hoping that they would come back and make things close, and they, they just didn't. They kind of died. Again, let's be honest. Let's be fair. CJ Stroud was sick. He was playing with a sickness. They didn't have Joe Mixon. And at the same time, I don't think that it's fair um, for a 31. I mean, that was a beatdown. So even if even when your quarterback's sick and your running backs out, 
I got to see a little bit more from that for a team that I picked to go to the Super Bowl. We'll see, though. 